North Carolina, Mr. Pittenger. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Secretary Cohen, following up on Congressman Pierce's questions, during Operation Desert Storm, we had an average of 1,100 strikes a day. Twelve years later, against Saddam Hussein, Iraqi Freedom, we had 800 strikes a day. In the last two months, against ISIS, we've had a total of 412 strikes, seven average a day. Is this limited amount of airstrikes as a result of not having the intel on the ground as a result of precipitously pulling out our forces several months ago, or is it a lack of the will by the administration to take out particularly the transfer of oil out of country? Uh, Congressman, uh, I'm not sure it's either of those, um, but I'm really not uh, in a position to, to comment on the military campaign. Secretary Cohen, are, are you in dialogue with the DOD? Are you in conversation? Are you in meetings with them regarding uh, our approach and how we would seek to uh, dismantle, disrupt, and destroy uh, these uh, transports of oil out of country? Given that that is the most significant yeah. manner of which that uh, ISIS has obtained uh, their one to two million dollars of revenue a day. Absolutely. And the conversations that I'm involved in, uh, as you might expect, are conversations about policy and broad approach. I uh, don't sit at CENCOM. I'm not, I'm not doing targeting on the day-in, day-out basis. But in terms of the overall policy direction and the contribution that, the, that I cited that the Defense Department uh, can make to efforts to, to undermine ISIL's financial strength, uh, that is something that, as part of the overall integrated strategy that General Allen is leading, uh, is uh, is part of the conversation. Do you believe it, number one, is it in our best interest and also the best strategy if we would seek to destroy all of the transports out of country? All of the illicit Tran oil transport? Illicit transport, transport of oil out of country. It would seem to me to be a one of the ways that we can impair the the oil trade is to stop them from bringing it out of the country. Uh, what I'm not, what I am not uh, in a position to Understood. comment on is the the practicality of doing that. I just, it's just not my my area of expertise. I appreciate that. Please convey our continued concerns on the matter of the limited approach that we've had in terms of our commitment to airstrikes in, in various capacities, but particularly related to trying to uh, disrupt the uh, income flow back to the ISIS. On another matter, uh, I mentioned earlier uh, the availability of technology. Uh, you know, there's right. very robust analytic uh, software programs. I've worked for a dozen years with major software companies originally related to Medicaid fraud. Mm -hmm. But in these discussions, we've transferred now on and, and talking about how we can uh, the terrorist funding and the transfer of it outside the United States and inside the United States. And as such, I, I wrote uh, Jennifer Calvary, the director of Financial uh, Crimes Enforcement Network, on September the 4th and requested a meeting mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that the department is utilizing uh, every available uh, possible analytic support uh, software available. Uh, I'd appreciate your help and response so I could meet with Ms. Calvary. It'd be most appreciated. Uh, certainly, Congressman. And I can tell you that FinCEN, which Director Calvary oversees, uh, is has recently gone through an IT enhancement. It has some advanced analytical tools available to it, and they are using those tools to go through the reports that they uh, receive from U.S. financial institutions to identify potential fundraising for ISIL and to push that out on a very rapid basis to our law enforcement colleagues. So that that is happening, but I will convey your request. If you uh, could help con uh, bring about a meeting with her, I would very much appreciate it. I yield back.